So we just finished talking about a little bit about breeding, mm -hmm. but now I want to kind of switch gears a little bit and I want to talk about, it's still going to be about breeding, but it's more about breeding dubia roaches in captivity and why their anatomy is, you know, has a part to do with that, right? Why we like it. Of course, yeah. What, the first thing is that the dubias are not good climbers. And the main reason why they, yeah, <laughs> compared to the American roaches that will yeah, jump Yeah, exactly. In, right? Main reason why is because they lack the structure. It's this little lobe uh, called in between their claws called an aureolium, mm -hmm. and this little lobe is like a little adhesive pad that most insects have. Actually, they they use mm -hmm. that to stick to smooth surfaces. These guys don't have that, mm -hmm. so that's why they're great. You can keep them in your in your bin. They're mm -hmm. not going to climb out. Now, of course. Now let me just show you mm -hmm. that we're not making it up. I've had this tiny little bin in front of us this whole time and they have not even climbed up you know this so this is a perfect example that this has been in front of us and right. they have not climbed out of it yeah now it's worth mentioning that if the container has rough edges mm -hmm. that can they can grip onto they mm -hmm. will climb out so you just have to make sure it's a smooth container and you'll be fine they will not climb out so you don't recommend if they're going to get some dubia that they do any sandpapering nah. or anything because that's not going to be right. good they're going to climb up that's that, right. right yeah any 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 plastic or material that has imperfections they'll be able to climb, that, grab onto that but as long as it's smooth you're, you'll be fine okay awesome okay geo so what is the second thing so they don't climb which mm -hmm. we just talked about so what else is great about the dubia they don't jump Ooh, you know? And one Ooh, of the main wee. reasons is mm -hmm. because they don't have a, a femur of, let's say, like a cricket or a grasshopper. So that's I a hate crickets and grasshoppers. Those are. I would rather have a dubia any day camping out in my house in a box. That's right. And then another reason why they're great is because they don't fly. Oh, wow. So yeah. even though the males have a have long wings that run through the entire length of their body. Do you feel comfortable holding a male oh, yeah. to let's, show let's, them? Let's show them. Let's, let's show this guy that... <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get away from you a little bit. I don't know the the males kind of freak me out. Oh, get it real close to the camera, babe. Ah! Okay, that's good. You can put it back. <laughs> so as you can see, the male has those wings. Yeah. Sorry, let me flip you back over. So the males have those wings, but they they cannot fly. Um, yeah. Now if they're like up high, and they they'll kind of glide themselves down for you know like a like flutter or glide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. But their wings are just not powerful enough to increase altitude, so they just mm -hmm. basically just kind of flutter down and just kind of land, you know. And then the females. Yeah. Do they have wings? They have these four wings, uh, but they they have no flight control whatsoever. So they mm -hmm. basically if they fall. They're plop. they're, they're like plop. they're screwed. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, poor female. Yeah. Well. I, that's, I wish they had, I mean, I wish they did at least a little flutter. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then uh, another reason why there's the guys are great is because they, they make no noise. There's no chirping oh, like crickets. Yeah. These guys are quiet and you mm -hmm. will, you, you will not hear them uh, mm -mm. other than maybe just kind of when they're, when they're feeding, you kind of hear mm -hmm. them just kind of moving around. But other mm -hmm. than that, there's pretty much silence. Yeah. You won't even know they're there, but I honestly like it when I hear them because it's kind of a cool sound when you yeah. do feed them. It reminds me of rain. I know that sounds so weird. <laughs> and I've put a short on our channel and I'm like, does this sound like rain? And people, people are like, yeah, that does yeah. seem like that. Cause you'll just hear it and it'll sound kind of like little. Do, maybe we can do that next to our bed. Maybe, we, gonna... maybe we, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> we, that's what we have rain apps for, babe. That's yeah. what we have rain yeah. apps for. Okay. So I don't know what... about you guys, but the next thing is also pretty important. All of these are important but the next thing is I don't know about you guys but I don't like stinky things I don't like <laughs> BO you know what I mean so you want to tell them the next thing yeah these guys are odor free yeah you know? so I mean who wants a stinky feeder in their house right mm -hmm. uh, like a cricket like, I don't know? I don't uh, now should we tell them about the, the yeah the, we the, should we should okay. Let, let's not mention any names yeah. but let's just call it out for sure what that is so one time we purchased some uh, roach chow and it contained fish flakes. And the thing about it is, it's that it made our bins very smelly. We could not figure out for our first, we were like, well, did you feel? We're them? like, did you give them some shrimp or something yeah. up in here? <laughs> Tunk so uh, bad. Yeah, no, I'm not, we're not, we're not hating on anybody that uses that in their roach Everyone chow. Everyone does something different. Yeah. And you know, you kind of learn and sometimes people just go by their budgets, you know? Sure. and. Um, but let's just say we're not a big fan of 
fish flakes. Yeah, we're just not bit, we're just not fans of that. Mm -hmm. uh, our our roach our mighty uh, doobie roach chow, which comes in six and twelve ounce, mm -hmm. does not contain fish flakes. Again, we're not roaches on, love this stuff, you guys. Yeah, and we're not hating on if you use fish flakes on your roach chow. We're not hating on you. I'm just saying mm -hmm. that we don't do that for that reason. We don't want our mm -hmm. stinky bins. We have very sensitive noses, and mm -hmm. we're just it does not make it an enjoyable experience to open up a bin and have this huge waft of stinky, shrimpy, shrimpy sm fishy smell. It's not good. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to um, check out our other video that we did, we did one on feeding dubia roaches mm -hmm. and you can see how much they love it. They love this chow, you guys, for yeah. real. So, but one of our customers even said, do you put Italian seasoning in that? <laughs> I almost wanted to put that yeah, on my pizza. Yeah, I put a little pizza, pizza <laughs> seasoning up nah, in there. No, we don't. We're not giving out, we're not giving out our, our, our recipe, but no, it's not, it doesn't, does not contain Italian seasoning. It's very organic, nice smelling. So let's just say that. Right. It's all natural stuff. We don't use anything that is bad because think about it. These dubia roaches are going to go inside of your pets and your reptiles and the, the very sweet creatures that you love and right. we need to gut load them properly because they're going to be going inside of your dragon or your amphibian or frog or whatever. That's right. So you want to make sure that your feeders are healthy and eating things that are good and beneficial for your pets. Definitely, definitely, yeah. And another reason why these guys are great, no infestations. Ooh wee, that's yeah. important, right? You know, the thing is like, there's like over 4,000 species of cockroaches and of which of those, 30 of them are considered pests around the world. Mm -hmm. uh, and some of the nastiest ones are the, you probably guys are very familiar with the German cockroaches. Oh yeah, The little ones that, yeah. that can infest people's houses. Uh, and then the mm -hmm. bigger one, the American cockroach, was what some people call the tree roach that you mm -hmm. kind of see. We definitely those see Those are here the in ones Texas. that fly at us. Yeah, those yeah, are scary. Yeah. Not fun. And also, there's also the Australian and the Oriental cockroach. The dubia roach are not these guys, okay? These guys do not carry disease. Uh, as mm -hmm. a matter of fact, if they do happen to get out of their bin for whatever reason. One time that happened to us, mm -hmm. and because we had. So here when it gets cold, we don't want our colonies to stay outside. So we just, you know, we regulate temperatures so that they yeah, can sure. live and have good, healthy, strong uh, colonies. We have a cold snap come through. We take them upstairs and we have a, an extra bedroom and, you know, we do all our feeding and everything. And so one time a male out of all of them, why could it not have been a baby or a medium? Right. I would have been fine with that. But a male got out. And I think he must have like just put an egg crate when he was feeding them too close to the side. And it got out and it scurried somehow mm -hmm. to my son's room, which was adjacent to this room that they were in. That's right. And he was like, uh, there's a roach. There's a roach on my, uh, on my bean bag. But it had already <laughs> died, you guys. It was a male roach and he was already dead. I mean, it mm. was like within not that many hours. Right because they have very specific needs um, in order to survive. They have right. to have the heat and humidity and all of that. They're very particular. And so they're not like the American cockroach or the German that can just infest your home. Yeah. They're just basically, if they get out, they're gonna just, you know, probably die within 30 feet, probably be found flat with on their, their back. On their back yeah. And begging to go back into their nice little warm home. So that's right. And also, they're not the they're not also the species that you probably see in uh, like sewage, uh, like like the uh, Oriental cockroach. Those guys live in sewage, and those are the ones that carry all the all that foul smell and and carry disease. Yeah. So yeah, that's these are all pluses. These are all pros to why you should have dubia in your home to feed your reptiles, whether you're having them for a roach colony or for feeders. These are all thumbs up, you guys. Oh yeah, for sure.